In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your cold email infrastructure the right way, especially if you're using Google Workspace inboxes. Recently, I heard a lot of people lost their inboxes, they got blacklisted, they got banned. And this is a big problem, especially if you are relying on cold email to book your appointments and actually scale your business, B2B business. And I'm running a lot of cold email for myself and my clients and none of the inboxes that we use have been touched with this update and what happened. And in a second, I'm going to explain exactly what happened, why did it happen. And actually, I'm going to share with you the tool. I tested a lot of tools, but the one tool that I'm using right now to actually buy and scale Google Workspace and Microsoft Office inboxes the right way. So let's get started. Before we go into the details, I just want to quickly share my instantly. This is like one of the campaigns last seven days. Everything's running smoothly, booking opportunities, getting replies, standard appointment booking rate and everything. So it's working still. And this big update and big loss for a lot of people happened like seven days ago or five days ago. So why the email bans happened? Many people bought NGO or misclassified Google Workspace accounts uh, cheaply. What happened in the background? There's big providers that went to websites and bought like 5K, 10K, 20K of NGO free Google Workspaces. Google had these programs and when they ran out, you have been able to actually buy them at bulk and they're not like monthly chargeable. So you maybe pay like three, five bucks for one. And they have been reselling you these uh, at a low cost margin, like one, two, three bucks per month. And they would make the money soon back. And these have been working quite well. I didn't use them at all, to be honest. I thought of it, it's a little bit sketchy. The background of it uh, wasn't the best uh, to actually scale it. And uh, yeah, that's why it happened. Like uh, Google basically just came in, detected the pattern and just shut down everything, blacklisted the domains and all of these inboxes are not usable anymore. And I saw a lot of people crying and having big problems because uh, this impacted immediately their business. So the result was many cold email senders gone banned and their domains blacklisted. So what's a safe approach looks like only use legit google workspace accounts properly registered and warmed up avoid suspicious bulk resold accounts that share bad reputation use services like zapmail that claim real google workspace microsoft office with us ip addresses proper setup fewer risk of ban if used correctly always warm up the new domains and inboxes gonna cover this in a second and maintain solid reputation as bfd km dmark and everything so there's other providers i tested a lot of them it happens that mail is one of the best to be honest and i'm gonna include a link down below it's a referral link you can join or you can just google it and join and basically what they do and how they function in uh, third world countries let's say in india for example you basically can buy at bulk Google Workspaces at a lower price, let's say maybe dollar and a half, two bucks per month. But these are legit. These are monthly paid and everything. And then these companies buy a lot of them and basically resell them to you at like three dollars per month, three point five dollars, four four dollars per month maximum. And they make a slight profit, but you still uh, like are scalable with those. These are really good in terms of deliverability and you're safe with them and uh, what's really important is uh, you have you you probably would think like indian this is not good for deliverability but i actually tested this and went through the whole testing setup basically it's signed by an us ip address which is really important when you're sending it out and basically if you're targeting any country in the world it's like legit you just pay less so if you would actually buy normal Google workspaces, they usually cost like eight or 10 bucks. And with this approach, you actually pay a lot less. So Zapmail is a tool that uh, I'm using and I'm going to share in a second how it's working. Basically in here, you're buying cold email infrastructure. You can buy Google workspaces and Microsoft Office emails and you just sign up. You get access here so this is one of the workspaces we are doing 
cold email for our clients as well. So you can have like a bunch of workspaces for your clients. And what's really beautiful here, you can like buy the domains. If you click here, you can just like buy the domain in here, let's say faristest.com. And um, you can like choose between those. It's not like you cannot buy some uh, country specific domains uh, like D or something for Germany, but you can buy .com. And I always buy only .com domains and you can search only by .com. And what's nice, it will give you like variables. You can buy the domains in here. When you buy the domains, you can actually go and buy the mailboxes, right? And they have plans in here. So manage subscription, um, buy new plan. And basically these are the plans. So like 10 workspace, 10 Google workspaces, 3.5 per month. You buy 30, 325 and you buy 103 bucks per month. And then you can like buy single ones. So when you click here, let's say, buy new ones it, you are not limited to only like 100 or something you can come here and say like i want 100 more thousand more and it's really scalable and what's like the best thing with zapmail because i have been doing like a lot of manual work uh, setting up the spf dmark and everything when you buy them here and when you set them up here so let me open up here like this one you can just select all of them click export when they're ready and you can export them directly to your tool instantly reach inbox smart lead reply but these are usually the, like one of these tools you probably use but other ones in here as well but you just so like one click export it and basically all the stuff the technical stuff that you would actually do by yourself normally like setting up the day mark the day cam the spf like it does it for you and this is really good if you're doing it even for yourself. There's no missing. It even does the custom domain tracking. And if you're doing it for your clients, especially, it's like a game changer because you save so much time. And then if you want to buy like Microsoft 365, you just click here and it's the same stuff. Like you buy the domains, you need like, you cannot have one domain on both of these. These are like se separate accounts. So you can transfer domains from Google Workspace to Microsoft or something, but usually would go, go in here, buy the domains and don't get like more than three emails per domain. And you will buy a plan here. And um, plan here as well, it's the same pricing. And uh, this is really scalable. Only like for Google workspaces, this is like the cheapest option that I actually use and found. If you want a, a cheaper option long term, but it costs you more at the beginning, is to actually go and buy through GoDaddy. Because GoDaddy has a Microsoft Office that's only for Microsoft Office, so no Google workspace. They have a partnership with them and you can actually buy a domain and three inboxes like for 60 or 70 bucks. And... Uh, this is a good deal. That's like less than three bucks per month. But uh, Zapmail is good because let's say if you want to buy 30 domain, 10 domains and 30 accounts, it will cost you a lot more at the beginning, but you have it like for one year through GoDaddy. With Zapmail, you're just paying monthly. And the goal here is that you actually, if you're just starting out with cold email or doing it for yourself, for your clients, that you actually break even in the first or second or third month. And then these cuts are unrelevant because you're making money out of it and you want actually to scale with more and more emails. Okay, so <clears throat> I hope you find this useful. So long term, don't be sad or something. If you lost your Google Workspace accounts, you can find another tool like Zapmail, buy them, pay monthly, have proper warm up, have proper setup in the SPFD, KM, DMARC and everything. And then, yeah, run it for a profit. All right. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, check out my free school community. I have a lot more videos about these topics and how to get clients, and how to start your agency. And yeah, like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.